Come make me gather, solve this in my tie. Barista, I tell. Barista. Uh -huh. Barista, where are you going now? I don't, I don't, I don't define you since. I don't define you since. I don't go one place where they toss you the beer for that side. I don't see you. I don't go your hands for you. I don't see you. I, I calm down, calm down. Why are you propelling and gallivanting all through this cosmopolitan metropolis, rummaging and searching for me? How you're not involved in any kind of cataclysmic predicament and stupendous brouhaha? You see, Barista, you get one man what I work for. I work for this man, the price of 50,000 naira, 50k. But this man now, you know, go like three months now, you know, give me my money. If I go meet, I go to go to me, you know, give me my money. So I don't ask you for now. People tell me, say, no, let you know, if you have me for this kind of matter. So that's why I, I, I come meet you. <laughs> my brother, I did the right thing. These are the kind of cases I keep under my canopy. I don't joke with cases like this. You see, I get profusely apoplectic and exasperated whenever I see such a choleric, waggish, crabby, and splenetic behavior from a composmentary homo sapiens in this society. How will somebody be owing you 50,000 for like three months and he has not paid in this hard regime? If I have 50,000 now, I'll be using bullion van and, 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 and escort security. No, 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 no. You see, let me tell you now, this behavior is highly Mephistophelian and abysmal. Do you know what you're going to do now? <laughs> we are, you have to propel and gallivant herself to his domicile and habitat. Let me recover and redeem your spondulix and wonga. He take me to his domicile and habitat. Mark, Mark, how do you go here? His domicile, that is his edifice. Take me to his house, that's what I mean. <laughs> Just take me there. He's paying you that money today. Uh -huh. Barista, this is the house. Uh -huh. But I'm not sure he's around though. Ah, it's not around. Ah, that's not a problem. At this uh -huh. point, I have to expropriate, put out and dislodge all his belongings out. I'll pack his things outside. Whenever he comes, he's going to pay your money first before he takes those things. Just hold on and wait for me. Three months and he did not pay money. He's going to pay that money today. Don't worry, just hold on. By the time I pack all his property, when he comes, he's going to pay that money before taking this thing. Just hold on. Why would somebody be so wicked? You're owing somebody for a month and you don't pay the money. Correct. All this you go. I will, I will, I will go sell everything. Ah, 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 ah. What my outside now? Hey, Mr. Man. Now because of the 50 k why the chicken change why they hold you? Now you can carry my load, come outside. Oh, now chicken change you now. Ma, I work for you. I work for you now for the past three months. You know, grip me. You know, grip me. I be this go just say, I don't bring lawyer now. We go let me fight. Yes, I don't bring lawyer. But I tell you, I go pay your money this way. You don't know what I told you. How would somebody be so wicked? You know, 50,000 if you are not paying. Landlord. Yes! <laughs> uh -uh. Do you know him? This barrister, now my tenant for my other house. Yes! He owe me. Two years as rent, ah, and you never pay me. Think about your life! As for you, you did owe me two years as rent. You follow another man, come, come carry my things, come outside. Please, sir. My friend, take these things, go inside, and go to my other house now. Pack everything from A to Z, and leave my house. I don't want to see you there, okay? Please, sir, forgive me, sir. I tell you, if you, if you say my word again, I don't, I don't want to see you there. I'm going to leave. Ah, Gaga Tuan Gaga. <laughs>